A force is a push or a pull that one object exerts on another. Like pushing a box, for example. The force from the hand pushes the box, and as a result, the box will move. Some other examples of forces that we regularly come across include gravity, the driving force, and also friction, for example. So what possible effects can a force have on an object? Well, a force will cause one of three effects on the object it acts on. But the force has to be unbalanced for these effects to occur, and this is covered in another part of the course. So the object could change shape. Consider stretching a rubber band. The force from the hand causes the rubber band to change shape. So the band is stretched. When a force causes an object to change shape, this could also include things like bending, breaking or squashing the object, for example. The object could also change its speed. So let's look at a train accelerating. The driving force from the engine causes the train to change speed, so the speed increases. The force can also cause a stationary object to start moving. The force causes this change in speed by doing work on the object to give it kinetic energy. So if there's no force, then the train will continue to travel at the same speed. The object could also change its direction. For example, a ball being hit by a racket. The contact force from the racket on the ball causes the ball to change direction. So the ball bounces back. We can combine this change in direction and the change in speed shown on the previous slide to say that the velocity of the object can change. For your exams, you should be able to identify when a force is and isn't acting on a system based on its behaviour. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, Head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!